the very first thing that we wanna do is to get our data into a list. We're gonna do that by going to the stat menu and then I'm gonna hit enter because I do wanna select edit. Now I've already got some data into L1 and I wanna get rid of that data. So I'm gonna arrow up to the list name. Notice how the data now is listed at the bottom of that screen and we're gonna hit clear, don't hit delete. It's gonna get rid of your list completely. Just clear and then enter. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter some um, exam scores. I'm gonna enter a 95, an 85. I'm hitting enter after each of these, a 75 and a 65. These are going to be my data values in L1. Now I'm going to enter those frequencies, how many I've got of each data value. I'm going to arrow over to list two. There I go. And I'm going to um, just enter in how many I've got of each. Let's say I've got five students that got a 95. So five and then enter three students with an 85, seven students with a 75, and then two students with a 65. So I really have five, three, eight, 15, 17 data values here, but I've just entered them instead with these frequencies. Let's go compute those statistics. I'm gonna leave here by doing second followed by quit. And then I'm gonna go right back into the stat menu and I wanna go over to calc and then one variable stat. So I'm gonna hit enter here. Now, if your screen looks different, just hang on. I'm gonna show you what to do in just a second. If yours looks like mine though, I wanna make sure that this list is my data list and my data is in L1. I'm gonna hit enter to get to my frequency list. This one is L2, that's where I put my frequencies. So I wanna hit my second followed by the number two to get to the L2 list name. And then I'm gonna arrow down and hit enter to calculate. Now, if instead of those prompts, it just gave you one variable stats like this, you're gonna put in your data list first. Mine was L1, so second followed by one. And then you want your comma, which is right above the number seven. And now I want my frequency list, which was L2, so second followed by L2, and then I hit enter, and we get to the very same place. Now, what I have here is my weighted mean. So this 81.47 is my weighted mean. If I skip down just a little bit, I've got my sample and my population standard deviation for that list. And if I scroll down even further, I'm gonna use my down arrow to get to the rest of my data. I've got my five number summary. And up above that, I've got my value N. Remember I said I was doing this for 17 data values. Check out this video for more.